Iris Benson now an MBE for her work in this field. She actually is a former patient here, but continues to get treatments which are ongoing for her issues, even as she was speaking to me. It's caused me to hear voices all the time, so that's all day and all night, and they're quite intrusive at the moment. Yeah. So I'm really having to concentrate hard. I see and uh, hear and smell things that no one else can through my childhood experiences, so I could wander off at any time. So it is difficult, and I'm difficult to manage, but the nurses that have looked after me over the years have managed really well, and because of the new things that go on now, it's very different. I haven't been in hospital for about 16 months when I was that typical revolving door patient because of the new services and the way we work with people now. So I'm very fortunate and without the staff that have nursed me over the years, the bottom line is I wouldn't be here talking to you. And they've done that for so many others as well. So you don't get, you don't get cured from hearing voices, you just learn to deal with those voices? I manage better now with certain coping strategies, but they're very intrusive, they're very nasty. Some people um, hear nice voices and don't want to lose them. I, I do a group in the community with them um, because we co-produce stuff now and I work with a psychologist in the community because mental illness is very, very misunderstood, especially voices and self-harm, which I still do, um, and is quite um, destructive, but it's a reason why. Mm. I, mean, I, I don't want to distress you by getting too much into it, but can you describe... Do you describe how it feels when you say you hear voices? And we all hear voices to a certain extent in our head, but you, you hear them differently, louder, a wider variety of voices. Can, can you try to sort of help us understand how it feels? I hear voices um, from my past, people who were really bad to me, um, and they are still there all the time, day and night, so they wake me. Um, I actually truly believe, truly believe I can be in one room and think they're shouting me from somewhere else are very distressing, but I manage because the help for people with mental illness is different now.